If you've been a developer for any period of time, somebody has said to you, hey, we have some code in production and we need you to update it. And you may say, well, do you have the local repository? No, we don't have any of that. We need you to update the code in production. Well, what if it's a Lambda function? I'm gonna show you with our new console to IDE feature, how to get that code and work on it and then get it back out into production. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have a function called weather, but honestly, it doesn't do much. It just simply says, hello from Lambda. This is in production, so they need me to update this. So let's go ahead and see how fast we can do this. Again, I don't have any local code. I don't wanna edit this in the console, so what do I do? You'll notice we have a new button up here called Open in Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Brings up a modal. I can turn that off for later. I'm gonna open in Visual Studio Code. We give Visual Studio Code permission and we give the toolkit permission. Well, what this does is this will actually download the file and it'll open it in a temporary space on your computer. Notice over here, I have the index.mjs file. This actually is my code. And then I get a preview read me here that shows this is all about the local. We're going to close those for now. So the first thing I need to do is let's go ahead and update the code. Now you can see here, I've got some code in here and I'm gonna to need to make a call to Axios, but I don't have Axios in here. Let's go ahead and bring up my terminal and then we're going to install Axios. I couldn't do this in the console, but I can say npm install Axios. And what it'll do is it'll actually install those dependencies and you can see here, everything's there that we need. So we've updated this. It's gonna, it's just a mock-up of getting the weather for Denver. It actually calls the API open Medio, and it checks for Denver to get the weather. Now I want to go ahead and put this back in production. So I'm going to save the file and you'll notice that the Visual Studio Code or the toolkit catches, Hey, there's changes here. Do you want to go ahead and deploy these to the cloud? So I'm going to hit deploy and it actually zips up the dependencies along with my file and it uploads, and you can see here, it's uploaded the Lambda function. In the console, I can actually do a refresh here. We can dismiss this for now. And you'll see all our changes are here and we can test as we need to. And that's how you use the new console to IDE feature that we built into Lambda to quickly update functions, take them to the IDE and back to the console and get them back out into production. Enjoy the feature, let us know what you think. Have a good one.